We move on to a very interesting story here. Some high-profile climate change scientists have retracted their former positions. They are now climate change skeptics. They are profiled in a new film. It's called Climate Hustle. With us now is the producer of the film, Mark Morano. All right, Mark, welcome back. Obvious Thank question, you. what made these former climate change people become chi climate skeptics? What made them turn around? Well, the interesting thing is, uh, Stuart, we, they, they, we feature them re-examining the evidence. We have scientists who testify in the film that in the 1980s, they thought the case for global warming was a slam dunk. And then they re-examined the evidence recently, and they realize that's not the case. They're speaking out skeptically. Uh, this now, includes... Wait a second, Brian. Are, are sure. these guys, these people, are they pro, uh, high-profile Climate scientists? Yes, we, yes, we featured Nobel Prize winning scientists. And the most shocking are former United Nations and even one current United Nations scientist, one of the lead authors of the UN Climate Panel reports, <laughs> who's basically had it with the UN alarmism. He te he's featured prominently in the film. Okay. We feature a French socialist scientist in this film, and it goes on from there. These scientists are examining the evidence, and we present it. And this film uh, is they are politically left wing scientists. That's the interesting thing. They voted for Al Gore. They endorsed President Obama. These are environmental activist scientists who are now skeptical. All right. Now, we, just, we played a brief soundbite from your interview with Bill Nye, the, the science sure. guy, where you asked him about uh, climate yeah. skeptics uh, as war criminals. I want to roll that tape again. Let's get it out sure. in full. Roll tape. What's your thought on jailing skeptics as war criminals? Uh... Well, if the, we'll see what happens. Uh, was it appropriate to jail the guys from Enron? Interesting. For me, as a taxpayer and voter, uh, the doubting, the introduction of this extreme doubt, where you go with extreme doubt, about climate change is affecting my quality of life as a public citizen. So I can see where people are very concerned about this and are pursuing criminal investigations. You know, I think he's on rather thin ground there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. climate change affecting his quality of life. So if you deny climate change, you're affecting his quality of life negatively. Uh, what do you make of this? Well, Bill Nye gets huge speaking fees. He gets huge t lucrative TV contracts. It's hard to look at any aspect of Bill's not Bill Nye's life and say, hey, global warming skeptics have really hurt Bill Nye. Uh, this is an absurd comment, but what is more disturbing about it is he is joining the uh, huge movement of the climate activists in wanting to suppress any scientist mm. dissenting. Yeah. And there, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. called for jailing of skeptics, putting them at the Hague as war criminals. Bill Nye is openly pondering that. And we've had uh, U.S. senators calling for RICO-style organized crime but, and racketeering charges against them. This is you know, serious Mark, stuff. Isn't it a sign of desperation? If you've got all these prominent scientists who've recanted and are now skeptics, that's a crack in the scientific uh, barrier, so to speak. And then look, the, the, the course of them to go to jail, that's desperation. It's, but it's desperation, but it's also intimidation. Mm -hmm. And you'll, what they're doing is they're sending a message to any young scientist, any non-tenured professor, keep your mouth shut or you are not going to be able to have a career. You're not going to be able to get funding. You're not going to be able to have favorable media. You're not going to be able to have your university support you. This is about intimidation and shutting down dissent, can, can even I, beyond okay, uh, putting hold on people a second. in jail. Uh, I just want to add the irony of this. Bill Nye is not a science guy. He's got a yes. BS in mechanical engineering. He took the name The Science Guy from a comedy sketch show that he was involved yes. in as an actor. This is a he man... He's a stand-up comic. Yeah, stand-up yeah. comic. This is a man where he puts on a lab coat who... <laughs> who has nothing to do with our understanding about the science of it, the nature of it, and there he's out there talking about, who knows, maybe yeah. we'll have to jail people. Not, not, uh, no stand-up comedian is going to put me in jail. Well, you just be careful, <laughs> Mark Morano, and see where you land up if you continue with this, uh, the skepticism about climate change. Mark Morano, climate hustle guy, thank thanks for joining us. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Thank you.